need a little bit of heat this morning. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> this one right here was really rough. I've been praying for a while to ask God to give me the words to say so that um, I can be honest. Um, and at the same time, not do it in a hurtful spirit. Um, you have to get to the real reason as to why you are suffering sometimes. And the real reason why you are going through a hurting sometimes. So, this morning I want to say some people are coming in your life and they are claiming to help. They are claiming to uh, want to assist you. And so, I have to be truthful. If it hurts or bothers the people who claim to have helped me, I apologize this morning, but I must be free. Because for the past year, I've been suffering because some people have claimed to help me over the past few years. And they actually robbed me or snatched something out of me. Or took the oomph out of me. And yeah, I allowed it because I was clouded by what you had to offer. So this morning, I trust me when I tell you I had to pray about this one. Because it is going to be a true feels hurt. And I'm going to get to it. But I just had to do that disclaimer. Because again, I've been praying for a while about this one. And I need to say something to somebody. And I need somebody to be delivered. And this is the only way I get delivered. Y'all want to know how I make it every day? I have to let stuff go. And so I'm getting ready to let stuff go this morning. Hey, Tori, I'm getting ready to let something go this morning. But this is really going to be true feels hurt. So, and I will leave the names out. We'll leave that out. Because the Holy Ghost does not want people to be hurt just like you hurt. So you have to be careful when you get ready to share your testimony or your story or whatever. Because you can't hurt people. Okay. So when I, I've been writing a long time. A long time. And so you have to be careful. Because in my earlier 20s, I started trying my best to do what God had called me to do. Which was right. So I connected with a couple of people who was like, yeah, girl, we could do this together. And what ended up happening in that situation, and like I said, I can't help if it bothers people who did it. I can't help that this morning. I got to be free. And so I'm going to tell you what's been going on. I'm trying to make it fast. Um, so I had got, got with somebody. So then we working on something together. Of course, they claimed all of the stuff. Claimed all of it. Act like all I was was a secretary. That's even how they introduced me to some people. I was co-writer. I did a lot of the other writing that had to do with the project we was working on. See how the Holy Ghost will help you still tell your story without telling all of it. Um, but anyway, the project we was working on, the person took the credit for all of it. So even though I had already been doing what they had been doing, I connected with them because I thought this is going to get me where I need to go. So we worked together. Mm -hmm. So then when I approached them about it, because y'all know I'm not, a, 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 um, a, I'm not afraid to speak up or whatever. I'm better at it now because I used to say it real, yeah, crazy. But... So then when I approached them about it, they was like, oh, girl, it ain't no big deal. Just as long as one of us get in the door, then, uh, you know, I, I ain't going to forget about you. Like, we in this together. We fighting or whatever. Well, we, if we in this together, how come you can't give me credit? How come you can't give me credit? So, okay, so that's my first incident. So then my heart was torn up. So then I decided, okay, I'm going to try it by myself. Well, then there is another person that showed up. Okay, let's work together. What we're going to do is this and we're going to do that. Hey, Tay, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Okay, so then I open up my heart again to work on another project. Thinking that this time, Princess, you need to cover yourself and make sure that you only give A, B, C. Don't give uh, Y and Z yet. Go ahead and give A, B, C. 
So then me and the person, they kept asking me questions. I kept spitting out the question. I'm not telling y'all I'm perfect. I'm trying to help y'all to see that God will put something on the inside of you and people will use that thing that's on the inside of you and you'll be so trustworthy. You'll be just out here sharing your stuff because guess what? You just want to get wherever it is that God will have you to get. You just want to do whatever it is that your heart is telling you to do, even if you don't know that it's the Lord telling you to do it. You just want to do that. Okay? So then when I got with that person, that person began to make excuses and was like, uh, okay, so we got to a meeting. And in the meeting, the person that was going to be the investor said, I want to know who wrote this. <laughs> And the uh, person that was working with me said, we wrote it together. He said, no, because I can tell there is a shift that took place in this story. That's what the man said. Now, the person that was going to invest in us going on a tour. Um, now, I, I, you know, I can tell that some writing changed because he said when I was reading it, I, to be honest with you, when I started on it, it was boring as H-E-L-L. -L. That's what the man said. And then he said, but then something took place on the inside of that story, and then it shifted. So then I'm sitting there listening to him, and I know what part of the story I wrote. I understand what part of the story I wrote. So I'm looking like, hmm, is she going to say that I did that part of the story? Not one time. What she said was, well, I don't know how you can tell and went to making excuses. And then the man said, okay, well, if y'all not going to be honest and straight up with me, then I don't want to work with people like that. He said, because I actually want to deal with the person that wrote that portion. Because that person that wrote that portion is actually tapping into what I want to do. So somebody said, Princess, why didn't you speak up? Well, I'm to be honest with you, at that time, it wasn't that I was afraid to speak up. It was that I didn't know what to say. Because I felt like if you're going to be my friend or something, we're going to be loyal. But then I'm sitting in the midst of you not being loyal to me. And I'm trying to figure out why you're not being loyal, but you claim you came to help me. You came, you want to lift us both up. You want us both to get there or arrive at the same time. And sis, I ain't trying. We love to call people sis and bruh and all that and then i'm like yeah y'all yeah that's probably what y'all are because mm -hmm. family members are the ones that are real strange with stuff y'all real strange uh with stuff and so that's true feels hurt so anyway fast forward then i said okay so then i kept writing i kept writing i'm telling y'all a uh, discouragement comes in you keep writing then you like, oh, the light came on. The Lord gave me somebody else new. Let me tell you something. The Lord is sending some people, but guess what? When they see your gift, see, this is where the part I missed, okay? And I hope I'm talking to somebody else this morning. The part I missed is that, yes, the Lord will send the people to help. Now, what decisions they make when they claim to be helping you, it, it doesn't have anything to do with him. He can tell them to do something for you, and then they switch up on you once they find out what your anointing is. They switch up on you once they find out what your gift is. They switch up on you when they find out that you might become competition. They switch up on you because they realize now that you may take over whatever it is that they have been doing. And so then I'm telling y'all, then my little kind heart, see that's why I'm so mixed up right now, is because my kind heart, because what my mama raised me to do is not is now conflicting with what I want to do. And so that's why I, I thank God for my upbringing because I'm telling you, y'all will make folks crazy. Y'all will make folks think they done lost their mind. Y'all will make folks think that we, we stupid. You know what I'm saying? Truth is hurt. So let me tell you, so then I got with this other person who said, oh, princess, I see your gift, but you need to work on this and you need to work on that and you need to do this. And so then I went to paying for it. I went to invest in it. You pay out $1,500 for something. You pay out $400 for something. You pay out $200 and something dollars for something. And then you write, listen to, look, yes, yeah, Jerome, I see you, Nick, and Tay, you pay out all this money for stuff. And then let me tell you what folks will do. 
You sitting out there pouring out your stuff because now you feel like, oh, I got another breakthrough. God, I thank you. You praising him. Don't y'all stop praising him. Even though y'all hear what I'm saying, don't do not stop praising him. I'm finna tell you why. Don't stop praising him. So then you get with the person. Oh, it looked like this going to work out. Yes, Lord, this going to work out. The first thing the person told me was people can't literally steal things from you. You know, it may look like it's the same thing. But it's really not the same thing. Like, do you know how many stories can be told in this world? Do you know how many times uh, a story can be told or ways a story can be told? And so I'm like, yeah, but I know that that's mine. The plot. All of that. Like, why you ain't come out with it before I came? Why, why, um, how come this synopsis looks similar to the story? You know what I'm saying? But then what they'll do is tell you crazy. That ain't, that, that wasn't even like that. I had that, that, I had that in my mind before. That's the title I was going to use before. Okay, y'all, let's cut the crap. Let's stop it. Let's stop. True feels hurt. Let's let God use us since we say we, uh, he is in us. And let's just say, uh, that was a good idea. Uh, and, uh, since Princess you didn't look like you finna do nothing with it, no way. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you why I ain't do nothing. And so now the Lord is letting me tie this all in. So after writing one book and writing 70,000 and some words, and even though it may have not met the standards or been like crap, then I reached in and did another book for 55 and something thousand words. And then, of course, we're going to put that one on the back burner too. And then you come and you write another 70 some thousand words and the Lord continues to give you these uh, writings and, you know, and you trying. And so then what happens? to me the other day the holy spirit let me see what has happened is i have poured what you can do inside of you once you got it out you put it in some hands that are not trying they you are not their priority baby even though they may see a gift or something in you you're not their priority so now you have to ask the lord to give you the money give you the things and even with that you gotta pray because you can give some money to somebody that still robbed you or if you don't meet the timeline then you can't get the product finished and if you don't do this and you don't do that and so i got so discouraged i'm gonna tell y'all now those of you that are listening to me you're going to figure out something see what people think is i'm writing books overnight now i've been writing books for years but what i allowed the enemy to do is keep camouflaging himself as my help the enemy has come in and kept telling me that i'm helping you and then even though god sent some people we can be some trifling children of god too so even god sent some people i love y'all i do but y'all can be trifling at times y'all can be inconsiderate at times you know that i'm struggling you know that i was trying you know that i was putting forth my best effort but what you did when i was in my weak state when i was looking for validation from you which i had no business doing in the first place what you did was when i needed help you decided that it was such good even at its weak state that you would use it for your stuff you would switch it around to make it look like i'm crazy that that ain't really my stuff you will give it to somebody else and share it as if it's your idea and let that other person birth that baby but let me tell you what i came to tell you this morning the god the god that i serve told me that princess you have not been writing in vain you have not been because the same thing look now the same thing that they have been doing take your stuff back get your stuff back and i'm gonna teach you how to rewrite it i'm gonna teach you how to switch it around since this is the game baby i'm gonna teach you how to play it because i don't like for my daughter to be hurting i don't like for my son to be hurting so i'm gonna use the talent and the anointing in you see what the people was doing it was a compliment when they stole that stuff from you it was a compliment it was not designed look now to put you in, it was, excuse me, it was not, not designed by God to put you in a slump. 
Okay? It was not. But what the enemy will do is he will say, look how many books you've been writing. You ain't got nothing out. Look how many titles you done, the Lord gave you. You don't have anything out. Look how much uh, the Lord has poured into you. And, and look at your uh, inventory. And you ain't finished showing of a secret. And you haven't finished without faith. And this prince is really going to come out on your birthday. And, do, and now you're going to do a short story for Christmas. This is how the Lord will allow the devil to do because he wants to know if you trust him this is how the lord will allow because he wants to know if you will trust him i asked the lord to tell me what i did wrong in those situations he said i asked you to lean on me i told you to lean on me i told you that i would be your source and your comfort i told you to listen to me you knew them people was changing up on you because i let you see it i never left you blind this is what the holy ghost was telling me princess i never left you blind you start picking up on the people was trifling early in the game you the one stayed in there baby but i understand because you just wanted something to be different you just wanted to connect with some people who you thought were going to take you somewhere you just wanted to feel like you were actually getting somewhere so i get it baby because you did not listen to the voice you didn't listen to your intuition your instinct you was not paying attention because you were so caught up in the fact that of who it was that was helping you and how but the lord said i have not left you I'm coming back to get you and we're going to rewrite and we're going to redo and I'm going to use that brain of yours and we're going to shift some things around and when it comes out, baby, you're going to be better than you went in and people are going to ask you how you did this and you're going to now give my name to glory and not them doggone people that you was talking about was helping you. Because guess what? Them people that was helping you had an agenda. They had an agenda. And because they had an agenda, you had an agenda too. You thought that connecting with them was going to do something for you. And they did the same thing that you did. They saw that connecting with you would do something for them. So y'all both was playing the game. But what I'm trying to say right now is that the Holy Ghost will send a, a, a rejuvenation spirit, a reviving spirit. You won't have to stay in the slump. You won't have to feel like all this junk I done did is not going to go anywhere. You have to realize that the Lord will take something and make it beautiful again. He will give it to you. I'm telling you, I've been sitting down and I've been writing and that stuff is flowing. And when I can't flow in that project, I slide my behind on over to the other. I refuse to quit. I refuse to think that the Lord has forgotten about me i refuse to sit my stuff on the side i am not because people will rob you of your joy they will rob you of your talents and your gifts and your dreams and make you feel like the lord has forgotten about you the lord has not forgotten about you he is coming to see about you but baby let me tell you something you're gonna be better than you was when when uh, i'm trying to tell you you're gonna be better than you was before uh -huh. if you go on amazon they got the same title 100 times that don't even mean that don't even worry about that i'm gonna use the title that the lord give you he's gonna put yourself in the right hands he's gonna give it to the right people the people are gonna show you that they really are there to help they're going to do what they said they came to do they're going to ignore the fact that you're just starting out because they're going to understand just like beyonce you started a long time ago you ain't just got in this race people want to know how come beyonce way where she at she was a little kid singing in talent shows she was a little I'm trying to tell you, her stuff caught up with her. So today, be encouraged. Don't start trying to find folks to help you. you stop. Just You just keep working, and the Lord will send the right people to encourage you, to help you, to assist you, to push you, whatever it is you need. Y'all be blessed today.